you know, industry compliance like HIPAA and so on. Uh, but the interesting thing that we always see is the need to recover from that data, um, you know, goes down over time, right? So if you if you typically have like an oops delete scenario that Randy was talking about at the start of the session, hey, I deleted my data, it's typically going to be recovery from the last few days uh, of the data that you've taken backups for versus going back, you know, a month or two months or three months, uh, which is typically what you would do if there is a ransomware attack lurking in your enterprise and you haven't really discovered it because ransomware attackers have also gotten extremely sophisticated. Um, so we have essentially, you know, moved with our customers. We meet the customers wherever they are at Azure, um, and we offer cost-optimized tiers, which allow customers to keep the data based on their needs of recovering, reading, and writing that data, or performing analytics on top of that data, for example. Um, so the hot tier. Uh, and the cool tier are online tiers. These are tiers which are you know, always connected, always available for you to sort of quickly read and write data. They are equally performant you know, in terms of latencies, in terms of throughput and IOPS. Um, but in terms of cost, uh, you know, the hot tier, for example, you know, has a higher cost of storing data, but a lower cost of reading that data because the data that you put in there is essentially short-term retention. You've taken a quick backup you write that data in there, but you keep it there because you might need to recover from that data very quickly. And so hot tier is optimized for those kind of short retention, but high transaction uh, kind of workloads. And so we would typically see hot tier being leveraged for application development by customers on the Azure platform. Um, then you go to the cool tier, which is very, very well designed and available from a backup perspective. If you want to store backup data, you would typically choose the cool tier. And the reason you do that is because cool tier is is definitely cheaper than the hot tier in terms of keeping the data. So, you know, the dollar per gigabyte that you'd spend on cool tier is much lower than that of hot tier. Uh, but because you're reading the data infrequently, you know, there is a slightly higher transaction charge. Um, and so when you need that data, it's, it's essentially going to be available to you readily because cool is an online tier. Uh, but then the transaction charges are slightly higher there because the data is infrequently read or written on that tier. And then finally, you know, the, the favorite tier that Andy talked about, and, you know, we love that tier as well, is the archive tier, which is really an offline tier. And this is, you know, probably the best equivalent of, of having tapes in the cloud, except these are not your grandfather's tapes, right? You don't have to, you know, really manage them and move them out on trucks and sort of recycle them and, you know, put them in a, in a, in a you know, air, airtight location, which has the right temperature and, you know, you need to load them and read from them. None of that is required. Azure takes care of all of that, but ensures that it gives you a performant, much more durable, um, you know, tier of storage that is offline. Uh, and 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 definitely offers a very very compelling cost as low as a dollar a terabyte. So that that one terabyte free one drive that you have translates to a dollar in Azure because that's the cost of the archive tier, and and that's what allows customers to keep their data for the long term without worrying about you know how healthy those tapes are. We we still offer those level nines of durability, redundancy, and availability even with the archive tier, and that allows you to really get that benefit. Um, that ROI, return on investment, and, and you know we have actually have measured this. It delivers more than a 300% ROI uh, over five years. And so a lot of customers across the globe have entrusted petabytes, hundreds of petabytes, uh, in fact, even almost leading to an exabyte of data um, on the archive tier because uh, of the durability it provides at a very, very you know, cost-friendly standpoint. So that essentially is the set of tiers. And by the way, Azure offers a very differentiated tier in the form of premium, which is a super fast, extremely low latency, you know, tier, uh, which is even more performant than the hot tier, extremely for, you know, it is for your high demanding, consistent latency and throughput workloads uh, that you would have. So if you want to recover a Parablue backup um, in Azure and want to do analytics with it, you can, you can leverage the premium tier to be able to do that. So that was just a quick primer on the various tiers um, that Azure Storage, Azure Blob Storage specifically offers for various kinds of use cases in the entire data lifecycle management uh, of enterprise data, wherever that data is residing.